If you've never played pickleball before, I'm gonna go over all the rules so you can show up to the courts with confidence and see what all this craze is about. Just like tennis, the ball can only bounce one time. If the ball double bounces, that means the point's over. To start, we're gonna go over the topic of serving. When we serve, we always serve diagonally, just like in tennis. The only difference is we're not serving way up here like that. We have to serve under our waist. This would be an example of a good serve. The only other thing to remember when we serve, the ball can't land in this area. This is called the kitchen. It just simply has to go behind that area. This would be a bad serve because it landed right in that kitchen area. This would be a good serve. The keys to hitting a good serve is to get the ball to land as deep as possible and also aim to your opponent's backhand. That goes from the beginner level all the way to the pro level. The next thing everybody gets confused about, so pay attention. When you serve the ball, it has to bounce on your opponent's side, and when it comes back, you have to let it bounce on your side. Then it's free play. This is the wrong way. This is what everybody does when they first start out. When you serve, try not to creep in. It's not a rule that you have to stay behind this line, but you're better off running forward than having to run backwards because you have to let the ball bounce. Let's pretend I'm returning a serve. It's not a rule as well that I have to stay behind this line, but just like the other, I don't want to be here. They hit a deep serve. I have to let it bounce and I'm stuck going like this. I'd rather stay behind this line. If I see the serve short, I can always run forward. Now we're gonna go over this area of the court. This is called the kitchen. Many people overcomplicate this. I'm gonna make it super simple. This is where the magic happens in pickleball. The majority of your points will be played at this kitchen area. This is called dinking. The whole point of this is to keep the ball real soft and low, right in the kitchen until somebody pops it up, then you can slam it. A lot of people think this kitchen is like hot lava, meaning they can't go in it, or if they do go in it, they have to hit it and run out right away. That's not the case at all. The only rule with this is my feet can't be in the kitchen while I hit a ball out of the air. That's it. It's perfectly legal for me to stand behind this line and I hit a ball out of the air. I just can't be physically standing in here. So basically, as long as I know the ball is gonna bounce in here, it's fine for me to walk in. It's important to note that this kitchen line counts as the kitchen. So whether I'm standing like this, barely on it, or all the way up here, it still counts as the kitchen. This is an example of good dinking. Now this is the wrong way to dink. This is illegal. This is the next rule with the kitchen. My feet are perfectly fine. I lean in and hit a ball out of the air, but my momentum takes me in. That's illegal. If you're leaning in and hitting balls out of the air, your momentum cannot carry you in. You have to be able to hit it and stay perfectly fine. This is the last thing we need to know about the kitchen. This is illegal. Pay attention to my feet. This is the proper way to handle that play. My feet have to be established before I hit that ball. That's everything you need to know. Now you can show up to the pickleball courts with confidence and see why everybody's craving it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I keep all of my content straight to the point with no fluff.